welcome. Today I'm gonna talk a bit about scratch building. Scratch building is a question I get quite so often. How to get started and what to start with. And what I can say is it's better to start with something really simple. Something uh, based on material you have at home or can easily achieve. And a rather short project so you get used to the methods and uh, the material. So today I'm gonna do a bridge for my uh, little uh, lake. I start off by taking some simple measurement on the layout. How tall, long and wide I want this bridge to be. My first thought for the beams was uh, barbecue sticks and just to make sure I compare with one of the prizers I have to see that the size is approximately right. For the planking I will use pre-engraved sheets of wood. I found this uh, at my local uh, hobby dealer and hopefully you will do that too. To paint this I will use Humbrol colors, 110 which is natural wood and 64 which is just grey. I start by painting the bridge in 110 natural wood. In general it's always best to start by painting all the things before you start assembly. Once you're happy with the planking, it's time for the support beams, which will sit underneath the bridge. This is a 1.5 mm square spruce. And I paint that in the same natural wood color. Then we can later discuss how natural 110 natural wood is. Oh, never mind. Time to make a mark on the chosen width of the bridge which in my case was uh, 15 millimeters and then I apply the steel scale and cut along the edge of that uh, cut several times through so you avoid cracks and deformations so here it is and with a price on top Oh, looks good. A bit too long, though. We'll fix that now. And also cutting the support beams, which will sit underneath the bridge, to the same length as the bridge. I think it's somewhat unpractical to handle this big tube of glue, so I put some on my finger instead and I uh, um, apply um, the glue onto the uh, beams uh, with the glue from my finger instead. I think that's uh, pretty convenient. After this, it's time to cut the, the, the barbecue sticks. I choose the height of 17 millimeters for those. So I first go ahead and mark 17 millimeters for the four beams I've intended to make. And then I kind of roll it back and forth, pressing down and off they fly. Then it's time to make the cutouts in the bridge for the, these um, uh, barbecue stick pillars. And uh, make sure to make them deep enough so the pillars won't stick out on the outside. Once they're all in place, I just add some glue there and push the four beams into each groove. All right, now most of the bridge is ready. So now I will just add a bit of planking on the outside as well as a bar a bit further down so it helps when you board the bridge from your boat. I had a pack of scale lumber in my um, drawer, but uh, anything will do just as fine, like a piece of balsa would do anything. Uh, I thought it was convenient because they were ready-made. <laughs> so I just check the length of these and cut them to length and glue them in place. Mm -hmm. 
and here is what it looks like with the planking in place now we just have those other planking still to go and with a bit of glue and a bit of uh, patience we'll <laughs> get those in place too So, now everything is in place, the only thing that remains now is the paint job. Most of the woodwork, which is close to the water and out all year long, turns grey. So I'm thinking about turning this grey. And I do that by dry brushing the bridge with the Humbrol number 64, like this. Well, the paint job will certainly not be state of the art, but most of the bridges here in Sweden, where I live, is certainly not state of the art either. So. Now it's time for some turf. This is Greenblood T49 Woodland Scenic and I will use that together with uh, ordinary wood glue to simulate the seaweed or possibly moss that typically grows in the bottom part closest to the water surface on this round beams. And I gently press the turf into the glue like this. All right, now it's ready to be placed on the layout. And for that purpose, we'll put some more onto our now pretty sticky fingers. And we apply that glue on the bottom of the beams. And then we place it where we want it on the layout. And remove excessive glue. I typically have a, a brush and just to make sure that you don't get the characteristic glue flow like thing around there. And our uh, pricer chief inspector is there to issue a quality certificate for this new bridge. Uh -huh. Isn't it pretty? Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these videos, please stay tuned to the channel by subscribing and you will get a notification once next video goes live. So until next time, see ya!